Watch out! It's an ambush! Hold it right there! Your money or your life! Ah! <laughs> Robin! Admit it. You were afraid. <laughs> what are you doing here? We're off to visit Saxon friends of ours in Black Hills. They're contributing gold to the ransom for Richard. We've still got a long way to go, Ivanhoe. You're right, Cedric. Maybe we'll have more time to talk on the way back. We'll return in a few days. So get going. On your way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very interesting. Your Highness, a man named Brian wishes to speak with you. Our spy. Send him in. Your Highness, we've got a chance to trap that Robin Hood and to grab the gold that Ivanhoe has gone to fetch. He's gone to Black Hills and will return by the same road. Very good, Brian. Having you join Robin Hood's band of thieves was one of my more brilliant ideas. Robin believes me to be a loyal companion. It will be quite a surprise. Robin and Ivanhoe are two very tough opponents, Highness. Is he equal to the task? Well, here, hold this. Uh, uh, but, um, uh, um, Come, extend your arm now. <laughs> so then, Malvoisine. Satisfied? Well, now, I'd say we shouldn't waste any time if our plan is to succeed. <laughs> the Regent's men with his taxes. What I'm told by Brian, there's a small fortune in that wagon. Yes, but Brian is late. We'll do without him. Here they come. <laughs> Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move! <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, but the Regent's gold is going back to the people he stole it from. Sorry for you, Robin. Brian, it's impossible, not you. You should never trust a thief, Robin. Now you get in this wagon nice and slow. Come on, don't make a fuss. in danger. I must warn him. <laughs> Whoa! Robin? All right, where are you? <laughs> oh, whoa! whoa! Robin! Enough of your jokes, Robin! Hey, watch out! <laughs> Robin? <laughs> We've been had. They took everything. Robin? Oh, but why? Now, why would he... It must be him. 
He's the only one who knew we'd be coming back this way. A oh, bullseye, that's Robin for sure. You're right. It must be him. I actually saw him. Let's go after him, Ivanhoe. I'm sure Robin will give part of our gold to the poor. We'll leave right now while we can still catch him. You're right. Let's go. Now, Harold, you visit all the taverns around here. Try to find some information. I'm on my way, Ivanhoe. Three and four. The gold Ivanhoe was carrying, Your Highness. Well, you've been most helpful, Brian. Now here's your reward. Take it and be gone. I've no more need of you. I am your humble servant. No more fawning, you vile robber. A cheap cutthroat. I suggest that you depart immediately. Make yourself scarce. I shall steal away like a thief, your highness. Your friend Brian has brought me Ivanhoe's gold, Robin. He's no friend to me. But of course, you'll be accused of the theft. Yet one more crime committed by Robin Hood. You despicable villain! Temper, temper. <laughs> Tell me, friend. Has Robin Hood stopped by here today with gold for your village? Robin Hood? No, but I wish he would. For I would really be very happy to see him, my lords, believe me. I think he's telling the truth. How mean-spirited keeping it for himself. Robin keeping all the money? That's not like him. Over there, a herald! Hear ye, hear ye, townsfolk! By order of Prince John, let it be known that in three days' time, Robin Hood will be tried and executed in the town square in the good city of York by royal decree. Robin's been captured? That's incredible. Let's go straight to York. We'll demand an explanation. No, Cedric. The Regent won't let us visit Robin. I find this whole thing very, very strange. <laughs> Return to Rotherwood! Yeah! <laughs> I'll toast my success. A fine bit of business indeed. <laughs> Hello, publican. Today is my lucky day. Let me buy a round. Very well, friend, but first you'll show me the color of your money. Yellow gold. Satisfied? Hmm. A gold crown. Well, I'll be. A gold crown? Such wealth for a humble huh? man. Tell me, where did you get it? Well, it's mine. I earned it by the sweat of my brow. May I see that, please, Master Albert? Why, certainly, sir. Uh-huh. A brand new gold crown, stamped with the hallmark of the Duke of Black Hills. <clears throat> Not so fast there, friend. Well, I don't have to answer to you! <clears throat> On the contrary, friend, you do have to answer to me. You'll come along with me now and tell me how you got all this gold. What a pleasure to see you, Lady Rowena. <clears throat> the pleasure is not mutual. <clears throat> I sent for you so that you could attend Robin Hood's trial. I thought that it might amuse you, my dear. I doubt it, my lord.
exactly like the coin stolen from me. Well, speak up. He's one of Robin Hood's men. You were with Robin today, so how did you escape from the Regent? Huh? Talk! If you don't... It was a... It's the Regent. He forced me into treason. I'm nothing but a wretched thief. I was caught and sent to prison. The prince said I could either hang or spy on Robin. You see, I'm the man who ambushed you disguised as Robin. Robin is thus innocent. Please let me make up for it. I can help save Robin, believe me. I'll put you inside the castle. The worthless promise of a traitor. Oh, maybe we should give him a chance. No, Ivan, hold you where? It's a trap. Don't go. Don't go, please. Oh. The fever's made him delirious. Uh. I'm afraid it will last another day or two. Continue with the elixirs and apply cold <gasps> compresses. It's a trap. What? Why are you here, you miserable cur? I thought you might give me more gold, your highness. You impudent rogue, you! You've been paid, now get out of England! Another world out of you and I'll throw you in the dungeon! Too bad. And here I plan to give you Ivanhoe. Duh! Huh? Ivanhoe? I will entice him here, sire. He'll be accused of robbing you, your highness. Really? In that case, I'm eager to hear about your plan, Brian. Most eager. Heavens, I have to leave as fast as possible. to change my clothes and find a horse. Are you sure you don't want us to help, Ivanhoe? Brian told me to come alone, Harold. Nothing to worry about. He can slip me inside without anyone seeing us. Yeah! <sighs> Brian, I'm not sure I trust that thief. I'll take the shortcut through the forest. rope. That way is where we'll find Robin. He's too well guarded. First thing to do is to get back the ransom. I've got the key. Very well. It's not too far from here. So it's a trap. Trap? I should have known that. There's no time to waste. We'll leave for York. Uh, the three of us won't be able to storm the castle. I think I've got a solution. Listen. The first thing... 
Where's my gold, Brian? Your gold? Huh? That gold's mine, Ivanhoe. You traitor! <laughs> trying to rob me, were you, Ivanhoe? No, in fact, you're trying to rob me. But we've caught you right in the act. Surrender. You'll hang from the gibbet in public with Robin Hood. Got a visitor for you, Robin. Ivanhoe? Move it! Nobody treats me like that, understand? Enough! Nobody treats me like that. Chain up to his friend. There. Scoundrel. Robin, nice work. I managed to pinch both keys. One for the chains and one for the door. on duty when everything's quiet. It's so boring. Huh? <gasps> Guards! Full alert! Escape prisoners! Quick! Try this passage. <laughs> Search the entire castle right now! There they are! Too late! Move, and no mercy! I don't want them to leave here alive! Huh? Time to get dressed. Ivanhoe. Uh, here, I'll help you. Uh, impossible. I'm too weak to get up. Ah! They won't hold out for long now. The most splendid day of my life. Your Highness, a dozen horsemen are approaching the castle. It's our friends, I'm sure of it. Hold fast now. The Archbishop of Canterbury, sire! Oh, no. I await an explanation, Your Highness. But, Your Grace, Ivanhoe broke into my castle with the intention of robbing me. I came for my gold, not to rob you. You're the thief. Mm -hmm. These coins bear the hallmark of the Duke of Black Hills. They were minted especially for the King's ransom. Uh, I was tricked and deceived by an accomplice of Robin's. But let me make up for my error. Robin Hood? The thief? You mean that he's here? It would appear that he managed to slip away from us, Your Grace. Listen, just let me explain, Robin. I can't wait, Brian, and you'd better be very convincing. Thank you, my friends. Without you, I'd never have gotten back the ransom. Oh, forget the ransom. You came close to losing your life. And for me, that's worth more than gold. Gold? Well, here's some more. Prince John had to pay a fine. And Brian? What about him? He too must pay his debt. 
In fact, I think he's already started. After that, you'll clean the stables and feed the chickens, Brian. Oh, Lord, how I hate pigs. Don't complain. You're better off here with the pigs than in a dungeon in the castle. <laughs>